Hello guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple model swap for Pikmin 3. Now this can work for the Wii U or the deluxe version, so depending on which version you're going to do, it doesn't matter, it works the same way. So, first things first, is that you need to extract the model that you want to replace out. So, you want to go to your game files. Now, the fruit models would be in Otakara here. Uh, we're gonna replace the apple, so go ahead and copy the apple, and then go into your mod pack, uh, whichever one you want to do with, you know, CMU or Yuzu, um, you know, depending which version of Pikmin 3 you want to do. I'm gonna do uh, Yuzu because we're doing deluxe, and then copy and paste that to your mod pack here, you know, and like you know this mod pack that I've made for the caves. This is what I have here. This is my directory. I have the same Otakara folder in the mod pack. And there is the apple right there we just pasted. Open that up with Switch Toolbox. I click on this model beef res here, you know, dig in. Bring it, you know, open all the folders and stuff. So here's the, the, the vanilla apple from the game here. Go ahead. You want to export this model anywhere. Doesn't matter, you just got to export it. Already have it here, so I'm not gonna do it again. But for example, I'm gonna export this as a day file or DAE. I'm still new with like you know, Blender and modeling and stuff, so this is not gonna be exactly perfect, but it works for me. So, all right, <clears throat> now that you have that done, you can keep this open for now. The Apple Archive, the, the one that's in your mod folder, not the, the original game file, you know, always back up your files before you make changes and stuff. So, you min minimize that. Then open a 3D uh, a 3D thing of your choice. Um, I'm gonna use Blender today because I've been using Blender for a while now. Uh, I'm still kind of new to it, but you know it is what it is. So I want to import that model DAE. Go ahead and find it. <coughs> here we have the apple here, and it's glory. I'm gonna do a material preview, and yep, that's the apple. So that's the first step. Now, the second step is basically importing the model that you want to use. I'm going to use this cheeseburger model that I downloaded. Uh, you can use any model you want, a model that you've made, or you know, a model you've downloaded off the internet. Um, so, for example, I'm going to replace this apple with a cheeseburger. So, whatever format the model is in, mine is an object fo uh, file, so have to uh, import it through you know the object setting through blender if it's fbx choose fbx you know and you know all that kind of stuff so import your your model that you want to use and you might be thinking where is it well some models are going to be really tiny because as you can see right there there's a cheeseburger right there delicious so we want to scale that up to match the apple here so uh, have it selected press s and then just move your mouse so you can see the silhouette is going bigger. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we gotta make it big. You gotta match the size of the apple. Because that's the treasure we're gonna replace. And we want to line up the bottom together. So like, you know, the bottom of the apple. You wanna line up the bottom of the apple with the, uh, with the, the treasure you wanna replace. So right now I'm trying to just level out the uh the bottom here that looks good enough all right so once you've uh leveled them out they have like you know the exact same position you want to take your apple just the apple delete it kill it we don't need it anymore okay it's gone now we just have the cheeseburger and these weird gray you know weird shapes these things are called armature this is basically um the animation file for what um what the object will do once Pikmin start carrying it. You know how like, you know, it like moves and bobbles around as Pikmin are carrying it. That's what it's gonna do. So um, there, in this case, the apple has two because this is what the branch, when you put the, the fruit on a branch, this is the, the top one where it hangs off of, and the bottom one in here is the, uh, the carrying. Um, so we wanna set these things together. So we wanna select the cheeseburger and then select the, uh, the, the bottom gray thing here, the armature. Right click, have them both selected, you want to do parent with automatic weights. So now these things are set together. I don't know exactly what the right term is, but you know, I'm still new to this, so uh, I'm just going to show you a very quick, easy way to make custom models. So now when you move these 
you know, gray things, the cheeseburger moves along with it. Yeah, you know, it's like, it's connected together, so pretty good. Um, so yeah, now that one, that's done, we got your cheeseburger, or whatever you want to use. File, export it as FBX. <clears throat> Give it a folder, I already have it, save the SBX, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, then when you go down here, where it says transform, make sure you apply the scalings to FBX all, right there. And then export FBX. I'm gonna do it because I already did it. You can go ahead and close the blender. Now you want to open up the toolbox again with the original apple that you had in your mod pack. Want to go ahead and kill all the textures inside. So it looks like this. Disgusting. Now you want to see this uh, apple here, this brick here. Replace. And you want to load in that cheeseburger model that we've made. Or again, whatever model you, you've uh, decided to put. So we're going to put in that model, press OK, make sure you enable vertex colors and have all these checked too. Now for material, uh, we got to use a material file that's used in Pikmin 3 Deluxe or the Wii U. So if you don't have one of these, you can open up like uh, open up a treasure file and export it from that way. Or I can I can upload this one and you guys can download it from the uh, the uh, uh, the thing I uploaded. So yeah, choose your uh, material file. These are in a BF mat format. Press save. And here's our cheeseburger. It's looking all, you know, disgusting with all the check checkerboard and stuff. Uh, import texture. It's very important to have your textures ready. It should be in the same spot as your... What's it called? The model you just made. So go ahead and import your textures. That. Do that. Now we have the burger here. We got to go inside the materials folder and then select uh, whatever is in here. Mine, mine says burger. And you want to change the, the spec map and the normal map. So right now it's a standard ground file. It's looking for a ground file that Pikmin 3 uses, but we're going to change those. Uh, fortunately for me, the burger here has its own normal spec uh, files to make it look good in the game, so we're gonna apply those to the burger, as such. So now it looks much better now. And also you wanna go to the shader options tab when you select the materials. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video, so I'm sorry if I'm going a too fast, but I'm recording this late at night. Uh, so shader options, and you want to enable shadow cast. Change the zero to one, press okay, you're good to go. Um, if you don't have these like files here for the treasure you're making, you can always just make one yourself, and then you can import those images and then set the uh, the normal and spec map <coughs> to load to those um, um, those uh, those files. Oh, okay, tired guys. Okay, so you've made your model here. We've got uh, these assigned perfectly. We got the shadow. And you can also test the animation here, see if you know it's uh, moving. There's a ground Pikmin carry, there's a wing Pikmin carry, and yeah, we're all set. Save the, the thing, compress with yeah zero, press yes, and you are good to go. So you can go ahead and close that. And now you can go ahead and open up your Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Make sure it's in the right mod pack, or Pikmin 3 Wii U. And also, Wii U models don't work with Switch models, so if you plan to convert them over to the, the other game, you have to redo them by scratch. Alright guys, we're here in the game, we're in the, uh, the map to test out the custom model, and there it is over there! We have made our cheeseburger! Um, this works with any fruit. Uh, I haven't tried grapes myself. Uh, things are a little different because grapes are, you know, little bundles and stuff. To be pretty, uh, pretty confusing at first, but yeah, look, guys, here's our cheeseburger, it works very well. That purple Pikmin is stuck, and yeah, look, there you go, you got your own custom models and Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I hope this guy, um, I hope this helps you out, guys, you know, making up uh, your own mission packs and stuff. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and get designing, guys, it's pretty fun.